me, I'd like to address the part of us that goes to fight, and it's a specific kind of manifestation of the fight reflex. And this one is the default mode of, I'm gonna persevere, I'm gonna push through, I'll take on that assignment again, or I'm defaulting into overdoing, right? The part of us that's like, okay, I know how to be perseverant, but it's an expense to you. It may not be an expense to others because you're kind of rising to an occasion, right? You're once again defaulting to, I can overcome this, or I know how to pull up my bootstraps, those invisible bootstraps, or I know how to take on that burden and I'm gonna persevere through it. So for this part, when that's coming on, it's really helpful to intervene and you probably have quite a bit of energy on board when that is coming. You know, it's, as I said in a different setting yesterday in a training program, I was saying, you know, it's the part of you that has wisely decided to leave the office on time and you are, you know, got your briefcase or whatever you're carrying and you're going out the door, but up, oh, somebody needs something and you're like, okay, yeah, I can help one more time. I can do one more thing. Or it's the part where you have, you wake up in the morning, you have a full schedule. It's really not attuned to your health or your life, but you're like, I could do it. I can do it again. I'm going to push through. I'm going to push through because my holiday's coming. And sometimes that pushing through, if you recognize it as a long-term pattern, a part of you designed for safety, it's going to be helpful to loosen that pattern a bit, get to know it, and start making some updates or some changes. So let's pretend that part has come on board and you don't want to be the perseverant, overdoing version of yourself. So take a stance in jazz dance warm-up pose, please, like this. It means take a wide stance, bend your knees, place your hands on your knees, press down with your arms so that you're able to lengthen up through the spine. Gaze down at the floor in front of you and begin breathing into the lower pelvis and the lower abdomen. So when we rise to the occasion, as it were, on those moments, we're not actually breathing into the low pelvis. We're not that embodied. We're not that embodied because these safety mechanisms we had to learn and we disconnected from ourselves in doing that. We disconnected from the body. So let the breath come down into the pelvic basin. As you breathe in deeply and slowly, you might be acknowledging the struggle to not choose being the perseverant version of yourself. Struggle to not choose rising to the occasion once again. Let the breath be smooth, nourishing. Bring yourself here into the present moment. Connect to the, the deepest knowing in yourself that wants to be on a healing journey and not simply like a marionette succumbing to all the invisible tugs, the implicit messages. Use the breath to connect even more deeply to that inner knowing. As you next inhale, raise your torso and start relying less on your arms and hands. Inhale the arms forward, clasp your fingers. And inhale, reach up. So this is a kind of determination not to engage in an old pattern that has been helpful and has probably served yourself and others. This is a determination to matter more deeply than the pattern. Inhale, rise up. Make your feet parallel, exhale, press the arms out to the side as you come down, reach back to interlace your fingers at the small of your back, roll the shoulders open. Squeeze the upper back and the space between the shoulder blades. Lengthen your neck so the shoulder blades slide up towards your hips. Energize your legs. Allow for a deep breath in and try to see yourself in a little movie you are in process of not choosing that overly perseverant or determined aspect of yourself. Exhale completely. And 
and then inhale, reach your heart forward, rise up to standing. And exhale, release the clasp of your hand. And let's go heel toe, heel toe into mountain pose. Now know that as you overcome a pattern, let's say of hyper productivity or competence or uber perseverance, as you overcome that pattern, you get to maintain, you get to still retain your competent, perseverant capacity, but it'll be right-sized, not exploited. So come to mountain pose and imagine yourself with a right-sized effort, an appropriate amount of perseverance, not a rugged determination where you've scraped your knuckles and you're all bruised up, just an appropriate amount of persevering applied in the right circumstance at the right time. Not overused and exploited. And bring your hands to your heart, acknowledging that deep desire to actually have your own life, your inner life balanced with your outer responsibilities. give appreciation to the parts of us that we're willing to be here for this practice just now. And may you find a new neurological pathway in which you can walk today. May you come to this day with courage, with a commitment to yourself, not for the protective mechanisms that became preservative, that became preventative, but can you come now with some proactive mechanisms where you can have a sense of your purpose moving in a direction of your healing and wholeness. Thank you for being here. Namaste. As always, if practices are helpful for you, please don't forget to leave questions and comments down below the video. Click the like button and subscribe to the channel. I hope to see you next time.